And hello, World Wide Web. Welcome to Hanging With. I'm GW Pometer. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, go on down and hit subscribe. That little red button down there, just click. Click right there. Come back over and over again. And thank you for hanging with us. Uh, we are here at Sassy in Jacksonville, hosted by the Short and Sassy Book Blurb Blurbs Blog. Da, da, da. <laughs> That's a tongue twister for you. But uh, we are here and we are hanging with author Julie Morgan of the multi-genre special ops series wow multi-genre special ops these are some cool guys multi-genre in a sense i write a lot of genres okay so special ops is real people there's no paranormal involved okay there you go so and book one is delta force okay and and I, there's some delta guys that wishes that that wish that because <laughs> it, as an old infantry guy i could tell you we spend a lot of time trying to look like this yeah. Unsuccessfully. <laughs> uh, however, uh, so let's let's start at how did you start writing this uh, special ops books? My husband's in the military. Okay. My brother just retired from the military. Awesome. My father was military. One of my stepbrothers is military. So. Any operators in there? Any uh, special ops guys? No. No. Okay. No, but. That's my all right. husband is surrounded by them. I was going to say that's yeah. all right. I'm an old infantry guy, so that's like our main. That's our. Yeah. That's a that's a dream come true to get that job and and to be my able to do that. My father was infantry. My brother was armor. My husband is an imagery analyst. So wow, just mixed breed. All right, all the way across the board. Yes. Well, fact, thank you very much for your family service. Thank you, and thank you for yours too. Oh, please. Uh, it was my honor then, and it still is to this day to to just be a part of that community. Um, so let me tell as you started out writing, what were some of the most daunting challenges of, of writing? in this world figuring out what I want the story to be mm -hmm. what direction it's going what the characters are trying to tell me and what kinds of stories are you writing well I have a lot okay <laughs> so I write in a lot of genres so this one is uh, military romance I have paranormal romance gothic romance that's steampunk and also contemporary romance wow and I have a sci-fi fantasy coming out in August wonderful that is fantastic um, so let's we'll start here we're gonna work our way through the genres here okay, okay. we'll start here with this is military romance yes. Delta Force okay give us the book blurb give us the book blurb okay so Logan Saunders who's in Delta Force is over in Iraq fighting in the war he received a devastating phone call that his wife has died in an accident. So as he returns wow. home for her funeral, seconds later he finds out that she's been cheating. And that starts him in a downward spiral, like the hardcore yeah, downward wow. spiral. And he loses himself in booze and in women. And when he hits rock bottom, he is given a choice to either get help or get out of the military. Mm -hmm. So he opts to get help because he wants to keep what he has. And that's when his life begins to take a drastic turn for the better. And wow. you watch him rebuild himself with his therapist, who he ends up wow. falling in love with. Wow. And, you know, you, you, took, you took aim at some pretty dramatic uh, uh, military uh, issues. Yes. And, and, uh, and you did it in a fun way, and you did it in a way that is non-threatening and romantic. Yes. Um, but those are pretty heady issues they for are. service members today. They are. And it's... it's uh, especially service members returning home. That, that's a, a huge concern yes, always when, when you deploy. It is. And, uh, and so I, I'm, I'm sure that the, the, uh, they're happy about the romance and they're happy about everything else, but it really touches a nerve with readers, it I'm It really betting. does. And I, I have some readers who are military spouses or former military spouses, mm -hmm. and every one of them has said exactly the same thing, that it touches on those issues. Yeah. And they are real issues that they face every day. Every single, yeah, and, yeah. It, and it, it, they are real concerns, and, and it, it's, it's great to lay them out there in an entertaining way, where it's not threatening, it's, right. enter, it's entertainment, but at the same time, you kind of, you look at it and go, wow, I, I, I know what that's like, I know yes. what that worry is like. It's so, very relatable. Yeah, when your readers yeah. can relate to, to your characters and what they're going through, that, that's wonderful success. So, all right, let's move over some of the other genres <coughs> that you do. I'm, I'm particularly uh, enamored with the idea of a steampunk romance. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's an amazing mashup right there. It's also um, paranormal, too. A paranormal <laughs> steampunk rope. Huh. All right. This, she's given, uh, Quincy Allen, you have competition because the, the, the paranormal steampunk ro Okay. So... I'll tell you what, we have, we have a question back there behind the camera on the cards that's, that asks uh, our romance writers in particular to envision, if they will, their perfect male lead in their book. But I'm going to go one step further with you. What's the perfect steampunk guy? Wow. 
That's hard to answer. Of course it is. That's why I ask it. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want somebody who's absolutely perfect. I mean, I, I want somebody that does have their flaws. Okay. You know, because if they're absolutely perfect and they're in my life, what do I have to compete with? I mean, they're always going to be here, and I'm going to feel down here. I'm like, <laughs> you know, so. But I want somebody in my life, or if I was in that life, mm -hmm. somebody that would not only be that knight in shining armor that would be there, not for a damsel in distress, but there, be there to support me. Uh -huh. Be there to make me a better person. So just emotional support yeah, more than anything emotional else. emotional support, absolutely. That's, that's fantastic. So as you've got the books out in all the different genres, um, what have been some of the most rewarding experiences of, of being an author since you started? Can you pick out one moment when you were just like, yes, I've made it? Probably with my first series. Really? My Chronicles of the Fallen series okay. about angels and demons. Wow. And that one was really accepted by readers. Just it's different mm -hmm. than what's out there. It's it's definitely different. It's uh, now what kind of what genre is that written in? Paranormal. In the paranormal. Yeah. Genre. So it's basically the premise of the story is you know what happens if you were to sell your soul for everything that wow. you could ever want, and then what happens when the devil comes calling. Oh, wow. You know. So, yeah. The writer, yeah, we, we talk about this with so many writers. The writer's job is to tell the truth. Yeah. Facts aren't so much important when you're writing a story, but the truth is. And, and the truth of consequences, every action that we have. Yes. And, and that particular question, you make a deal with the devil when he comes calling, um, is, is <coughs> I think, timeless in that it's something we all wrestle. What would you do to get what you want? Right, and that's really the premise of the entire series is what happens when she sells her soul, what happens when the devil comes to collect, and then the repercussions of everybody around her that tries to support her to save her. Oh, wow. There's a huge repercussion for their actions that take place. Mm -hmm. A huge repercussion. It ends wow. up with a war between heaven and hell. That's a pretty, that's a pretty huge repercussion. Yes, that's that's uh, <laughs> well, Be careful what you wish for out there because you could be starting a war. <laughs> that's, that's dangerous stuff. So... Um, You've got so many different genres that you write in. We'd like to know a little bit about what you're interested in. So let's start with books. What's on your nightstand right now? <laughs> it's a stack about this big. It's a stack big. about that big? It's a stack. Any particular thing mix. that stands out? It's just all mixed it's a, up. It's a mix. It's just whatever pulls my attention at that moment. When you're not reading, when you're not writing, you know, those, those three and a half minutes a day that you get, <laughs> uh, what are you watching on TV? Oh, I don't really have a whole lot of time to watch TV. Okay. I'm a mom also. Oh, my. So I spend time with my daughter. So SpongeBob, pretty much. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you might be surprised. My eight-year-old loves the show How It's Made. Wow. Oh, that's loves fantastic. Amazing stuff. Yeah. That is great stuff. So when, you're, when, you're, uh, when you get that minute when you're not being a mom and you're able to write, you're up at all hours of the night because you know, you got to be a mom during yeah, the day. Sweet. So, <laughs> what is the ultimate midnight snack? What's going to get you through when you're, when, oh, you're, when you're banging away at those keys? Cheddar and sour cream ruffles. Cheddar and sour cream ruffles. That's very specific. That's a very specific <laughs> midnight snack. You all know what to send her now, right? Because <laughs> she, you know. So, all right. So, you're, you're stranded on a desert island. You can take three things with you. What are they going to be? My laptop. Your laptop. That has an ever-ending, like, never-ending battery. <laughs> My laptop that has GPS so people can find me. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's got somebody's gonna come and get her she don't want to be um, there for long sunscreen sunscreen nice because I, you know if I'm, if I'm gonna be on a deserted island with nothing there i can't get I, that's a florida answer right there we don't go anywhere without sunscreen <laughs> that's right that's it florida <laughs> yeah and um my family and your family. Oh, you can take your family with you. Yeah. Outstanding. We got to watch because it, it's fun to watch what they do on the desert island. Oh, I would like. <laughs> yeah, like I have, I have lots of sons, so it would just be fun to see which one of them turn on which one first. <laughs> yeah, you're shark bait today. Baby. Yeah, the little, the little one's gonna get eaten. That's just we know it in advance. Uh, so, uh, you can be on any game show. Which one? Gosh, probably Family Feud. Family Feud. Just because it's always fun. And She's Steve, taking the kids everywhere with Steve her. Steve Harvey's fun, you know. But yeah. I know the hosts are fun too, but Steve Harvey, I mean, wow, he's that's great. That's fun. That is fun. That's a lot of fun. We want your readers to get to know you as a person, you know. And those those are those are just kind of fun questions <coughs> everybody has, has to ask out there. And and uh, you know, they know where to find your books. We're gonna put links in the descriptions. Do you have a website? 
JulieMorganBooks.com. JulieMorganBooks.com. Go on down yes, below. You can just click on that if you didn't get that uh, as we spoke. And uh, in the meantime, we want to wrap it up here by thanking our partners over at Something Unique Magazine, Books, Chocolate, and Wine, the Florida Book News, Authors for Authors, Wordfire Press, and our brand new friends over at the Nerdorama Network. Thanks for sharing these videos all over the World Wide Web. Thanks for sharing these great authors. Uh, I'm G. Bobby Palmatier, and we've been hanging with Julie Morgan, the multi-genre author of, among other things, the Special Ops series. Book one is Delta Force. Uh, what are the names of those other series, real quick? So we want to Chronicles of the Fallen. Chronicles of the Fallen. Southern Roots series. The Southern Roots series. Yes, and Deadly Alchemy series. And the Deadly Alchemy series. More to follow. Yes. We've got a fantasy sci-fi yes, coming out called Pretty Dragon Master. Dragon Master. So it doesn't matter what you read. Want some romance, a little military, a little fantasy, some steampunk? Yes. Quincy, you got to check this out. Okay, get out there. <laughs> all right, guys? So thanks for logging on and tuning in, folks. Keep coming back for more. See who we're hanging with next.